New information coming out into the investigations and the cause of the aftermath of the mid-Michigan dam failures. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Alan Campbell. And I'm Glenda Lewis. And today, officials spoke about the first step in reconstruction to address safety issues. Jennifer Ann Wilson with a closer look at the reports. The Edenville Dam's owner, Boyce Hydropower, was supposed to conduct this investigation, but they didn't, so the state picked up the tab. And that is an ongoing theme in today's discussion. It is unusual for us to have to step in and take over for a dam owner. And yet, that is exactly what is happening. Three and a half months after the failure of the privately owned Edenville Dam triggered a destruction domino effect, causing a 500-year flood in Midland and Gladwin counties, displacing more than 11,000 people. It impacted over 2,000 structures, including the M30 bridges, which have partially collapsed but still stretch precariously over high waters. Eagle, the state's environmental regulatory agency, says the first goal is safety. Achieving the necessary safety of the remaining structure during a flood that we would need. The investigation decided the solution is to breach the spillway, which essentially means to intentionally break more of the Edenville Dam. This would lower water levels under the collapsed M30 bridges and hopefully prevent the bridge from collapsing further and causing more destruction and possible injury. But could this have side effects? That's still to be determined. Currently, part of Wixom Lake is empty. The side still filled will likely see its water levels lowered even more. The state plans to do the work and then bill the dam's owner, Boyce, but Boyce is filing for bankruptcy. We have the state issuing this emergency order uh, to carry out the work that needs to be done to make sure that the dam, remaining dam on the tobacco side is dewatered somewhat to a safety level so that we're ensuring that the public health and public safety is met. As we reported before, Boyce was supposed to make needed repairs to that Edenville Dam for the last couple of years, but didn't. And that, of course, brings to question the 802 other privately owned regulated dams in the state of Michigan. Eagle says they are forming a task force to try to prevent something like this from happening in the future. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. All right, Jennifer Ann, thank you.